I started being involved with SU when I was 13, so it was 17 years ago now. I went on a holiday camp uh, as a camper, uh, water rafting, ab sailing and all the hiking and all that sort of thing. It's funny because my folks aren't Christians, uh, but they decided to send me on a Christian camp was a good idea. Uh, I think it's because I was into the outdoors and uh, looking forward to, I guess, hanging out with other people who are interested in that uh, and always being a bit adventurous. They said, yep, go along. and. Uh, I sort of read a bit of the blurb and saw the photos and looked fun. Uh, I said on the bottom, you know, talked about spending time talking about Jesus and I was like, oh, I'll just sit out for that bit and just ignore that bit. Uh, but the rest of it looks cool, so uh, I got along. My folks had taken me to church like about once or twice, just at Christmas time, uh, at a little church in the country where we live. I had an impression of Christianity, which people, you know, became a Christian just before they were ready to die. and. Uh, that was it, you know, get the tick to heaven, and uh, but you know, when you're young, you didn't worry about that sort of thing. So at the end of camp, uh, for me, my um, journey into Christianity changed uh, when on um, the last day, one of the leaders had, had uh, given their story, uh, and they said, we, you know, just challenged everyone. They said, if, if you want to know this Jesus, then it's uh, no stress, but just hang out at, afterwards and chat to one of the leaders about it. Uh, and for me, I just had this real, just kind of strange tug in my heart and just said, just stay back and talk to someone. And uh, I, was like, I was trying to fight it and I was like, nah, nah, you know, I was trying to be cool with all the, all the guys that I'd sort of met on camp. Uh, and anyway, I thought, nah, nah, I'm gonna walk off. So I went, we walked back to the dorm and all the way back, I could just really feel this sort of tug in my heart to go, nah, just go back and talk to uh, this, this lady who was waiting behind. Uh, and so just about back there, I made a bit of an excuse that I was gonna get a spoon or something that I'd forgotten. Uh, to try and keep up my, you know, cool reputation. And I walked back and talked to this lady and I, and I gave my life to God. So, um, yeah, I became a Christian in my first SU program. Just being surrounded by Christian people on a, in a camping environment and away from uh, the pressure to be cool and the pressure to be a teenage bloke, um, but on camps surrounded by Christian leaders. Being Christian and, uh, and loving people is really, I guess, cool and accepted and it was just changed from being normal life. Being a leader changed, uh, obviously, uh, your camp experience from, be from being a camper. Initially, it was cool and exciting because you're given uh, the responsibility of uh, now looking after a group of campers, building relationships with other leaders who are passionate about the same thing. Uh, building uh, awesome friendships uh, through uh, being involved with leader teams on, on camps. Uh, and yeah, seeing young people who came on camp uh, start quite timid and uh, not sure if they wanted to be there and really reminded me of myself. And coming away from the end of the week having bonded together with a group of campers and being excited about new friendships that they'd made, uh, being challenged in their faith and had an awesome time on camp. And knowing that you had some uh, responsibility and that was really exciting. One of my favourite parts of being on camp was just to see how far young people can come from where they begin at the start of camp uh, to grow in confidence in leadership, who they are, um, grow in friendship with a group of people that they come with uh, and learning about Christianity and, from, and always reminded of my journey in terms of finding out that there are young Christian people who are bold enough to say, yeah, I'm a Christian and I'm happy to say that to everyone. And they're cool and they're great to hang out with. SU is driven by uh, love for young people and to do leadership like that on a, on a camp is so powerful and so, um, so much more encouraging for young people that uh, I guess I'm so thankful that my journey through leadership has really been uh, transformed by SU and when I go out to other outdoor organisations they look at me and go wow you know where did you learn that stuff? If I'd recommend a SU camp if they wanted to build amazing friendships uh, with people that they'd uh, never met before, if they wanted to grow in confidence as a person, um, if they were excited by challenging themselves in, in uh, outdoor activities it's, uh, it was an awesome opportunity.